Two suspects remain at large today after a deadly shooting at the Jaguars strip club in Edinburgh early Sunday morning. Police knew the club well. They've been monitoring problems there for the past three years. We conducted undercover operations and those operations were successful in which we arrested various patrons as well as employees with narcotics charges. After the undercover operation and a nuisance abatement lawsuit, the club was eventually shut down and given a year to fix the problems. Now we're seeing that it's starting up again, so that's one of the options on the table. Uh, we are in discussions, uh, and there's always a possibility that we might file another nuisance abatement, uh, but that's still in the works. According to Edinburgh Police, since January of 2015, they've received more than 91 complaints about the all-nude strip club, which allows customers to bring in their own beverages and also allows anyone 18 or older to enter. We had been there a couple times for complaints uh, dealing with alcoholic beverage issues, but our, the investigation found nothing. Roxana is a stylist and she works down the road from Jaguars. Her kids at times play outside while she's working. She says she doesn't feel safe anymore. The environment around here is usually safe and calm, but if these kind of things keep happening, I'll have to think twice about working so close to the nightclub. The clientele that's inside are, are, are not reputable people and that's somebody that, uh, that you want to deal with. Um, as far as a regular citizen. CBS4 reached out to RCI Hospitality Holdings, the company that owns both Jaguar strip clubs in the Rio Grande Valley. However, due to the severe weather in Houston, their corporate office was not available for comment. In Edinburgh, Joel Flores, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.